Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German Grammar. In this video, you'll be learning the difference between ihr, which is written with a small i, and ihr, which is written with a big i. We'll be doing a few examples and in the end, there will be a small exercise. If you want to practice what you learned today, you can download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. So let's begin. Ihr oder ihr. Before we get into the details, let's look at a few examples. Wie ist ihr Name? Here you can see the use of gross ihr. Now a few examples with klein ihr. Kinder, was macht ihr? Das ist ihr Buch. And here's another example. Mit ihr habe ich nichts zu tun. Let's look at the first case. Ihr groß geschrieben. In formal situations, you would use ihr with a capital I as a possessive article. It is used as a possessive article for sie. You could use ihr or ihre. In a formal situation, you would ask Wie ist ihr Familienname? In this case, you would use Ear with a capital I. Similarly, Herr Müller, ist das Ihr Auto? The car belongs to Mr. Müller. The situation is formal. You would use the personal pronoun Sie. But in this case, we need a possessive article. Hence, the correct possessive article here is Ihr großgeschrieben. Let's look at the next case. Ihr klein geschrieben. This one has multiple uses. Let's begin with the first one, where it is used as a personal pronoun. In informal situations, you use du for singular and ihr for plural. Both of them are being used for the second person. Let's look at the first example. Kinder, habt ihr eure Hausaufgabe gemacht? Since you're talking to children, the situation is for plural and it's informal, hence you will use the personal pronoun ihr. Let's look at another example. Alex und Maria, habt ihr am Wochenende Zeit? Once again, the situation is informal, we are talking to two people and it's the second person. You will use the pronoun ihr. There is one thing that you should remember here. If we are using such a sentence in a letter, where you know the person personally, then you would use ihr with a capital I. Same rule applies while writing messages or SMSs. You would write Alex und Maria, habt ihr am Wochenende Zeit? This capitalization of ihr will only take place when you're writing a letter or a message. The next use of ihr is as a possessive article. This one is used for the singular pronoun sie. In this case, sie is in the third person. Let's look at an example. And here's the first one. Das ist Sonja und das ist ihr Haus. Sonja is singular, feminine and in third person. Hence the correct possessive article in this case is ihr. Klein. Similarly, the next example. Das ist meine Schwester und das ist ihr Buch. The book belongs to my sister. Singular, feminine, third person. So the correct possessive article for her would be ihr. Klein. Let's look at the next use. It is also used as a possessive article for sie in plural. Here also, Z is in the third person. If you want to revise personal pronouns and possessive articles, you can watch our videos on the same. The links can be found below in the description. Here's the first example. Das sind unsere Nachbarn und das ist ihr Sohn. You would use the personal pronoun Z for the neighbors. This would be indirect, third person. And when you're using the possessive article for the same, you would use ihr. 
Similarly in the next example. Das sind meine Eltern und das ist ihr Haus. Meine Eltern sind indirekt, dritte Person und in Plural. Therefore, the correct possessive article in this case is ihr klein. Ihr is also used as a dative personal pronomen. Im Nominativ you would use sie for the singular feminine, whereas in dative you would use ihr. Here also sie is being used for the third person. If you want to revise personal pronouns in dative, you can watch our video on the same. The link is given below. Now let's look at an example for ihr as a dative personal pronomen. Simone hat Geburtstag. Ich habe ihr gratuliert. In this case we are using a dative personal pronoun because the verb gratulieren is a dative verb. There are various dative verbs that you could use. You can watch our video on the same to revise them. The link can be found below. Let's look at the next example where ihr is a dative object. Das ist meine Freundin. Ich habe ihr eine Blume gegeben. In this sentence, ich is the nominative subject, eine Blume is the accusative object and ihr is the dative object. You would also use ihr as a dative personal pronoun when you are using a dative preposition. For example, meine Oma wohnt in Berlin. Ich fahre heute zu ihr. A link to our video on dative prepositionen can be found below. Now let's do an exercise to see how much you have learned. Übung. You have to fill in the blank with ihr groß oder ihr klein. Ihr groß is used only as a possessive pronoun for formal situations. Ihr klein is used as a personal pronoun, as a possessive pronoun and as a dative personal pronoun. You can revise this by watching the video once again before you begin with the exercise. Let's look at the first sentence. And your answer should be Ich wünsche ihr viel Glück. In this case, ihr is being used as a personal pronoun for dative. Let's look at the next one. Do remember, this is a direct question and it's a formal situation. Your answer should be Frau Sievers, wo ist ihr Mann? Here's the third one. And your answer should be Max und Tom, was macht ihr heute? The situation is informal and you're talking directly to two people. Hence, you will use the personal pronoun ihr. Moving on to the next one. In this case also, you have to look for a dative personal pronoun. Hence, your answer should be Ich habe ihr einen Ring geschenkt. Ich is the nominative subject, einen Ring is the accusative object and ihr is the dative object. Let's do another one. And your answer should be Entschuldigung, wie ist Ihr Vorname? And here's the last one. In this case we need a possessive pronoun for Sabine. Sabine und ihr Mann wohnen in Köln. Great! If you want to practice some more, you can download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Danke. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Do click on the bell to receive notifications whenever a new video is uploaded. If you have any comments or questions, 
you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen!